What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are familiar with the channel and my 340i, you know that I've complained about uh, the clutch feel and the shifter engagement in the past. I just feel that the clutch pedal has too much of a, a too long of a travel, and I just feel like it doesn't really provide for that much of an engaging experience. So in order to rectify that problem, I did some research on the forums and I bought this Berger Motorsports Clutch Stop Kit. And what it does, we'll go ahead and go inside the car and I'll actually go ahead and show it to you firsthand. So if we hop inside the car here and show this little piece, this clutch stop again, what it actually does is give a little bit less uh, path of travel for the clutch. It'll allow the clutch to engage a lot faster from a stop, from allowing you guys to shift gears and stuff like that. Uh, it's also a really easy install and we'll go ahead and do that now. So I think officially the only tool you'll really need for this install is a pair of needle nose pliers here. But in reality, you can probably just use your hands uh, to grab the uh, stock clutch stop um, from behind the clutch pedal. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. So I actually recommend moving the driver's seat all the way back because you're going to be working in the pedal box area here. So this will just give you the maximum amount of room to kind of get to where you need. So hopefully you guys can see that in there. That white little plug is the stock clutch stop. All you're gonna do is just reach your hand in there and pull that out. Uh, it's kind of hard to do while filming, but uh, I'll go ahead and do that off camera. So this white little plug is actually the stock clutch stop. Like I said, it's a very small little rubber plug and I was just able to get my finger in there and just pull out. It was not very hard at all. And if we compare it next to the BMS one, so as you can see, the stock one is the white one right there and this is the BMS one. You can see the BMS one is just so much larger and it also has these foam discs on the inside of the uh, little uh, plug here that you can remove if you wanna kinda give yourself a little bit more, more leeway uh, and clutch travel. I think what I'm gonna do is take out the top disc here and leave the remaining ones. I think the it's kind of excessive to have all of these. So like I said, I'll take out the top one and see how that feels after. Okay, so I went and pulled off the uh, top disc here this is about the level I think I'm, I'm good with. I can always add the last disc if I feel like the clutch travel is still a little bit too long. So we'll go ahead and install this. So this is gonna be impossible to show on camera, but what I'm basically gonna do is just take the, uh, the BMS clutch stop here and install it in the uh, stock location and just press it in. No screwing or anything like that necessary. And we'll go ahead and see how it feels. Okay guys, the new clutch stop is in. Like I said, it just popped right in with little to no effort. We'll go ahead and feel what the clutch is like for the first time. I will also say that I actually went in and installed it with the disc removed like I said before, but I actually uninstalled it and put the fourth disc back on there. Uh, I felt that the uh, travel was still a little bit too long, but this is my first time feeling it with the fourth disc installed, so let's go ahead and see what it feels like. So guys, I know you can't feel this uh, through the camera, but the clutch pedal feels so much more engaging now. The pedal travel is a lot more precise. I feel like I can modulate it a lot more easily. Like I said, I went in and actually installed all of the discs, uh, contrary to what I showed you guys in the installation, uh, just because I feel like the pedal travel was a little bit still too long. Yeah, and I haven't even driven the car yet and already just sitting here, go rolling through the gears, playing with the clutch pedal and stuff like that. It just feels like such a cohesive package now. I'll have to go ahead and update you guys with some more driving impressions as I get around to putting a little bit more miles on it, but Initially, this feels absolutely great. Really happy with it. Overall, guys, that's the quick little installation video of the Berger Motorsports clutch stop kit for the F30. Like I said, I'm really happy with it on initial impressions. I recommend this kit to pretty much anyone who has an F30 with the manual transmission, and I'm actually pretty sure that the kit is applicable for a lot of Volkswagen and, and Audi models as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. For plenty more content on this car, updated impressions on the clutch stop kit, and many others. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.